So Meta has announced a new subscription service for Facebook and Instagram called Meta Verified. The question is, is it actually worth it or is it just a scam? So similar to Twitter Blue, Meta Verified offers a paid subscription service to allow you to get a verified check mark next to your name on both your Facebook and Instagram profiles. Now, when Twitter Blue was first announced, as we all know, it didn't really go over that well. There's tons of backlash from both celebrities, content creators, and just regular consumers. And I think the backlash is partly due to the fact that really the only draw to Twitter Blue was getting the blue check mark. The other features, while there are a list of other features that they offer, aren't really that valuable. Most of them are just certain customization features on the Twitter app and the ability to edit your tweets. But other than that, the value isn't really there in my opinion. But I think this is where Meta Verified differs because they offer a whole suite of features that I think could be incredibly valuable to you if you're a content creator or like myself, an artist, and you promote your work on Instagram. Obviously, the main feature that you probably know about is the ability to have a blue check mark next to your name to verify that you are indeed the person that you're claiming to be. And I'm guessing they're most likely going to have certain features in place so that anyone with a blue check mark can't just change their name to another company or celebrity and impersonate them with their tweets, as we saw happen when Twitter Blue was first released. Another feature that will be included in the subscription service is direct account support. So that is live support that you have with a real life person whenever there's an issue with your Instagram or Facebook account. I think this tool could be a huge draw for content creators and be incredibly valuable. As we all know, no service is without its bugs and issues. And Instagram, especially lately, in my opinion, has had lots of different bugs and features that makes it difficult to post content and share it with your audience. So the ability to communicate directly with someone who is willing to help you out when you have the issue, I think could be incredibly valuable. Another feature that they're offering, which is definitely a bit controversial, is increased visibility. Now, personally, I don't know how I feel about social media services offering subscriptions to get your posts and account more visible. It seems to me like a pay to win type of scenario, and I'm not really crazy about social media heading in that direction. Now, that being said, if that is the direction that all the social media is heading, then maybe if you're a content creator, it would be worth it to you to pursue it. Of course, paying to promote your posts or videos, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, is nothing new that already exists, and that's something that lots of content creators are making use of. Now, what Meta actually says about this is it will expand your reach with increased visibility and prominence in some parts of Instagram and Facebook, like comments, search, and recommendations. Overall, in my opinion, it honestly seems like the value could be there if you're a content creator, influencer, or artist on social media. Honestly, the big question that remains is what will be the perception from the public and just regular consumers on social media? Twitter Blue got a ton of backlash when it was released, and a lot of people just flamed and roasted anyone who had a blue check mark next to the name for the fact that they bought into this subscription service. If there's gonna be a similar response with Meta Verified, then it might not be worth it if it's going to hurt your public image and your relationship with your audience. My piece of advice would be to wait and see. Wait and see how people react to it. Meta is currently testing these features out in Australia, so it'll be interesting to see what the response is there. Some influencers and content creators are already upset with this feature because the people who have earned the blue check mark don't think it's fair that now other people can pay to achieve it. However, earning a blue check mark honestly is a little weird. Sometimes you'll see people with very small followers have a blue check mark currently, and it doesn't really seem like they're deserving of one. Honestly, becoming verified on social media is all a game of politics, and it's possible that this may actually even the playing field. But let me know what you think of Meta Verified in the comments below. Do you think the value is there? Will you be using it? Or do you think it's just another scam? And if you want to see more content like this, where I break down tips, tricks, and pieces of advice for artists and content creators on social media, make sure you give me a follow.